Hello fellow crafters, Lori here with the Crafty Connection. And today we are doing two more paper craft DIYs for some quick um, Christmas gifts, token gifts. Great for teachers, neighbors, um, mailmans, anybody really. These are really cute. Um, just really easy to make. So what you're going to need for the first one, which are the Hershey Nugget Packs, is um, some 12 by 12 paper. I'm using the same paper pad I used in the uh, tea and hot cocoa papers, just because that's what I have sitting out. This is a, one of the papers from in here. I'm going to be using some cardstock. I'm using a cream color. You can use any color you'd like. You can use coordinating colors with your paper. I'm using this one because I want my papers to stand out. I'm using some, um, this is just some Aztec uh, tape glue runner that I got from Hobby Lobby. Double sided tape is all it is. You can use white glue. Easy enough. I'm using I'm using my paper cutter, you don't have to. You can use a ruler and scissors. I'm also using my scoreboard. You can use a ruler and a pen cap or anything to make the score line. You don't need any of these special tools. And then I'm using the Hershey Nuggets. Um, this is the family pack. It comes with all four of the flavors. And I just open these and I dump them in a bowl so it's easier to get them out or to eat one if I choose. So I'm just going to open this bag and dump it in the bowl with the rest of them. Alright, so I'm going to give you the measurements and do it as we go. And then I'll also put the measurements and the supplies down below in the description box. So for the nugget packs, you want to start out first with your cardstock. And you're going to cut these at two and an eighth by six and a half. So I'm going to start by doing my two and one eighth. So, and like I said, if you don't have a paper cutter, just use a ruler and some scissors. And it will be perfectly fine. So I have that at two and an eighth by six and a half. Okay, and save all your pieces because you're going to be able to get quite a few of these nugget packs out of one eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock. All right. So let me set that up here for now. And then for scoring. You're going to score it this way with the short side at the top, long side going down. And you're going to score it at three eighths of an inch. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I want to go one, two, three. So, eight, whoops. I don't have an actual ruler, I have to count those out. And then I'm going to go. The other one to, it's easier just to flip it around here and just do it again on the three eighths. But let me do it and then I'll give you the exact side. So you have the three eighths on one side and you have one and three fourths on the other side. If you are not um, just flipping it over. So you can do three eighths, flip it, do three eighths, or you can do three eighths and one and three fourths. And then that's it for this part. And then when you have it done, you're gonna fold it up on your score lines there. You can just use your fingers to do it, or you can use the bone folder to do it, whatever is your preference. Just as easy to do them with your fingers. And then you have a little tray 
And this is going to be for your nuggets. And just to show you here that they fit perfectly in the little tray. Okay, next step is to make the nugget wraps. So you want to pick your paper out of your that you want to use. I'm going to use three different papers because I want three different designs on my nuggets and it's no big deal. Just um, you, then you can make more. You'll have plenty of paper to to make them similar. So I'm going to pull the Christmas tree paper out. I'm going to pull the Merry Christmas paper out. And you don't have to coordinate these. I just kind of like the, the color coordination that comes in these packs. And then I'm pulling out the one that's got like the little writing on it. And then I'm going to set my paper pack to the side because we don't need it anymore for this project. Alright, so then I'm going to take my paper cutter again. And we are cutting st um, strips of 1 by 3 inch. And these are, um, they all have like a patterned paper. So if I, I'm going to see if I can remember to do this right. So it should go 1. And that one should be with your paper with the correct print showing straight up, if I'm correct. I have a feeling I'm probably not correct, so hang on. No, I think I'm right. So we're going to cut this at one inches. And then we're going to turn it and cut at three inches. And then I'm going to check it to make sure I'm telling you right. Because they wrap this way. So yes, that is correct. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just cut these also. Because I'm going to do several of these. And I can just have them ready. I'm just going to do the one strip. I'm not going to sit and do the whole uh, 12 by 12 paper. But this will give you enough for four nuggets off of that one strip. So then we're going to take the next color or design. <coughs> excuse me. And cut this again at one inch. And this is with our design paper going the way you would be looking at it normal. In the correct form that was in the book the paper pad and we're going to turn it and we're going to do them at three again and you could do them all with the exact same paper if you wanted to you don't have to mix them up I do just because I think it looks better and you could always use um, like one or two pattern papers and then use a plain color cardstock that was like coordinating with the colors of your designer paper. So it's pretty simple. Then I'm going to do it for the last time with my third. I do these uh, nugget packs in, uh, I put six nuggets per nugget pack, which is why I'm doing um, three different colors so I can have e equal amount, two of one design two or the other, etc, etc. So I'm glad to say that my cold is now completely gone and my voice is still coming back. I did lose it for about three days. But it is slowly but surely coming back. So it is still a little raspy and hoarse, but the cold itself is gone and just getting my voice back.
to the normal. All right, so we have those. Now we're done with these for now. So I'm gonna move, remove the extra paper and the, these. And I'm just gonna put them somewhere to the side. Somewhere is the key question here. And yes, before anybody says anything, I do have my red crafting flannel back on because I had to. I ended up wa getting that or washing that apron because it was very stiff. Plus, I I just love this. It's so soft and so comfy. But anyway, moving on. Um, I'm using some clear bags here. I got these from ClearBags.com. Post the link below if you're interested in these. And the size of these bags are two and a quarter by eight and a half inches. And they're a little longer than our sleeve and that's for being able to put them, you know, wrap them around and seal them. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pick out my six nuggets. And these come in four different um, flavors. We have the dark chocolate these are the ones with almonds these are the regular just milk chocolates and I feel like I'm I am and this one is the toffee I believe so we have a toffee plain milk chocolate milk chocolate with almonds and dark chocolate so I have four, and then I'll do five, and then I'll do six. There we go. So we have a variety there. Or you could put them all the same if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. So what I'm going to do now is take my nugget, and I'm going to put a little dab of this tape runner on the back. I like using these for this project. It's just a whole lot um, faster. And then I'm just going to put that right in the middle. And then I'm going to wrap it around the nugget. And I'm going to put a little strip right there. Wrap it around and press it down. And that would be my cat Peach Fuzz saying hello. And then as you can see, you have a cute little wrapped nugget. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna do um, all these here for you real fast. I just, now if you're using white glue, I mean, it's just as easy to put it the teeniest of tiniest dab of glue on here. You really don't want a lot of glue on that because it will spill out. So if you have a tape runner like this, they, they're, they're very inexpensive at the craft store. They're not expensive at all. And then the third one, third designer, design I'm using. Here, we'll just put that little bit of double-sided tape. I'm gonna put our wrapper. You just want to try to get them as even as you can in the um, middle of the nugget. They're not perfect. It's perfectly fine. They will not be noticed. So there's three. All right, so I have three more to do. So I'm going back in the same sequence since I have three different patterns of paper. I'm going back to the original one I did. Just wrapping that around the nugget. Now mind you, I'm doing all of this for you in real time. I'm not speeding it up. I'm not stopping to do it off camera because I want you to see exactly how fast and easy these are to do. I mean, who would not want one of these? 
like I said, you know, you have a coworker, or say you have quite a few coworkers. These are so easy, you know. And if you think about how many you get for what you're buying, I mean, it's it's just a super cheap gift to do. You can, you don't have to buy a paper pad. You could go like to Hobby Lobby. They sell the individual sheets of paper. You know, buy two or three different sheets of paper and you know you're good to go you don't need the special tools a mailman you know your your mailman I'm sure that would make his day or just you know do a random act of kindness and go out and just pass these out to random strangers you would be so surprised at you know what a little bit of kindness will do for someone and you can just set these in here, like so. And you can put a dab of the tape or a glue guy underneath them if you want to keep them in line, which I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start about here and run mine down. And I start about a half inch down. And I'm just going to line them up, making sure my pattern is going in the right direction. Don't want an upside down pattern. And I'm just lining them along my little tray I made. And then putting them up and give them a press. Take a bag. And these bags are um, they do have a seal on the bottom or at the top where you can fold them over and then they are completely sealed. Putting them in, making sure my pattern's going the way I want them. Just get them in there, give them a good start. And they slide right in. So, and then you can just take the peel off there, wrap it down, like so, and seal it. I like to make little toppers for mine, and how I do that is I'll choose, say I'm using this one. Well, that's not going to be big enough. I did forget to cut this part in my, um, you know, showing you what we needed to cut, so let me grab that stuff here. So simply just decide what paper you're going to use. I'll just use this one because it's on top. And then you decide on your thing. So this measures about two. Yeah, about two. And then it's two down. So I'm going to cut a two by two strip of paper. Like I said, I will have this measurement down in the measurements also in the description box. So I'm just going to cut the 2 by 2 And because it's 2 by 2 you don't have to worry about which direction your paper's in. And I'm just going to score this right in half. Can, well, let me make sure the paper's right. So, yes. So I'm going to go at 1 because... Half of two is one. Just fold it over like that. Whoops, make sure you get it even. There we go. And then I just take them and put them across the top. Like this. And grab a stapler. And staple it. And then you could always add embellishments to these. Um, at the top here, you could put a Merry Christmas, you could put whatever you want. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave them like this because mine are just going out to my um, clients for work. Um, but you could always, you could tie a 
twine or a ribbon around the top. There's so many different ways you could dress or jazz these up. Um, but these are how mine are going to be. Um, they're kind of easy. They're to the point. You can make them as fancy as you want or as non-fancy as you want. The point is, you're getting six Hershey Nuggets, and that would make me very happy. All right, so I'm going to clean this one up and come back for the second one, which is our microwave popcorn holders. All right, and on to Papercraft DIY number two. This one is the microwave popcorn holder. So you're going to need a piece of 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to use this one. And you will get two um, wraps for the popcorn out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So if you plan on doing a lot, it would probably be better to buy the paper pack, which you can always find on sale at Michael's. Um, for sure, they're always on sale there. And you can get them online, Amazon, or different paper supply companies, or buy the individual sheets at Hobby Lobby. They have a huge selection. All right, so you're going to need one 12 by 12 piece of paper. You are going to need some microwave popcorn. I got Pop Secret. I got, it comes with 12 bags in it. You can get it at any grocery store. I got mine on Amazon. So you're going to take your pack of popcorn. And I forgot one more thing. Hold on. In most paper pads that you get, they have strips or um, like this one has cards that you cut out card things you can use, which I use these a lot in my um, interactive photo albums, but they also have things like this. And I use these for obviously decorating, but I also use them for belly bands. And I will show you what I mean by that if you don't know. And I'm going to take this one out. If you don't have one of these or you bought individual paper, you can easily just take another piece of paper and cut it in a strip to the size needed for a belly band. So, all right. So again, you do not need a paper cutter. You can use a ruler, pencil, and a scissors or utility knife, whatever you prefer. But you're going to take one 12 by 12 piece of paper and you're going to cut it at the 6 inch mark, which is you're cutting it in half. Literally. So you have two. Whoops. That one didn't go through all the way. There we go. You're going to have two 6 by 12 pieces of paper from that one 12 by 12. And while I'm cutting, I'm going to cut my belly band. And I'm going to use, I think the trees here and all I'm going to do is line those trees up you can just cut them out with scissors just as easy but I have this sitting here so I'm going to use it and you just cut out that band and these are nice because you can line them right up and I'll, I'll put um, links to these too if you're interested and then once you set it down there's a line here you can see where exactly where it's going to cut. So there we go. Now we're done with the paper. Right, and we'll set that to the side. And then for scoring, we are going to put it in with the long side, the 12 inch side at the top, like so. You can do it on either side, the white side or the pattern side, it doesn't matter. Take your scoring tool or your ruler and your pen cap or whatever your style is, whatever you're using. And we're going to score it at three and three fourths. So we have three and three fourths. Whoops. There we go. And we're going to score it four. 
and then we're going to score it eight. Put an eight and a quarter. And I will put these measurements below in the description box also. All right, and then we're done with the scoreboard. It's pretty easy and simple. Let's put that away. All right, and then we're just gonna fold on our score lines. You can just use your fingers. Just kind of make sure you're even up here. I'm going to use my little scoring tool just because I'm old and it can get your fingers hurting if you do it too much with your fingers. Sometimes when you get these so close together, you just got to kind of work your work it a little bit. There we go. Okay, then I'm gonna go back over here and work these scoreboard scoreboards. Listen to me. Score marks also. Just making sure everything lines up nicely. making sure everything lines up and then press that down with your fingers or whatever you're using and then we have a nice little um, foldable oh, I have two papers here no wonder it was so hard all right guess that makes more sense okay well now I have two scored Anyway, so okay, then you just take it, and I put my popcorn bag with the pretty side or the front side down because this is going to be over it, like so. So you just fold it over, fold it over once, and then I take my tape runner, and I just run it right down there on the end, fold it over. Press it down, and mine did not come up very, nah, it's going to tear. So make sure when you're putting it down that you get it even with this, because if you can see, mine's a little off right there, which is fine, because it's the back and nobody's going to really see it. And then all you can do is just slide your popcorn in there, like so side up and then take your band your little belly band and this is just for decorative purposes and I just kind of even it on the front and then I fold it around and the score marks just made it to where you have like a, a more of a pocket so your piece doesn't um, try to tear or anything when you put your popcorn in because each bag of popcorn, different brands, are coming a bit of a different size. So you just want to make sure you have enough room. So I put some tape on this end, and I'm just going to lay it down. Then I'm going to take this one and decide, because it's a bit too long. So I'm just going to cut a piece off. That wasn't very even at all. And then I'm going to add some of the tape runner on top. Oops, backwards. Add a couple of piece strips of tape here. And I'm going to lay this down and make sure it's even. Like so. And there you have it. I'm going to put mine in. Now if you get this issue here of it doing this or whatever, you can always put a glue dot or 
something in there, but I'm going to just put mine in a bag. So therefore it doesn't come out anywhere. I just want to find a bag that's going to fit. I think this 4x6 will fit. These also came from clearbags.com. But you can get um, clear bags at it pretty much any craft store. So I'm just going to open my bag up. Obviously see if it fits in this bag. Slide it in there and see if the size fits. It should fit. And the popcorn slid out of the bag there. Okay. small so let me see what else I have so four by six is not going to work I do have these which is probably way too big but I can always hold it so let's see what this will do if I went this way will it fit so I'm just going to go, because I don't have any other size bags, so I'm just going to use this one. And I'm just going to fold it right over there. So when you get something like this, you could always push it down to the bottom and then put a topper on it. Or you could just fold it down and put a piece of tape runner on it. Like so, which is what I'm going to do. You know, so you have a cute little popcorn bag right there. Sealed in there and protected in a cute little sleeve. And you could put a tag on this. Super easy. Teacher gifts, mailman, random acts of kindness, whatever. So those are super easy. And you can decorate these. As more, you know, like I said, is as elaborate as you want. You don't have to use the plastic bag. That's just for me. When I'm passing them out, I like them in the bags. I would say if you're going to use a bag, probably a four and a half by seven or four and a half by six and a half bag would work the best because the four by six is a little bit short. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Super simple, super easy. Make great little token gifts. And the next one I'm going to do, which will be tomorrow, is the one for our feline and canine friends. And they are the Temptation Cat Treat Pouches and the Milk Bone uh, Packs. So until tomorrow, have a great night. If you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure to like this video. Thanks and have a great night.